All right, people. So we got Joe Button acting like he's Dollar Bill from Players Club. Just randomly, I'm not going to say randomly, just <laughs> firing people just to get his rocks off because he's on some type of ego trip or, or, or power trip. Now, the question I have is, is was academics right? You know, academics been going in on Rory and Maul for, for a little bit now. And he was saying that, hey, y'all was just sidekicks. Y'all ain't getting no money. I'm above y'all and all this other stuff. And I, I, I try not to count, you know, people's pockets, but, you know, they, they, they've been on this successful show for, uh, you know, a number of years now. And I would, I thought that they had some type of ownership with it, but I guess not since he was just able to, you know, up and fire them say, hey, you know, I ain't mess with y'all. Don't come back to my show. This is mine. If that's the case, Rory and Maul really messed up. You should never invest more time into somebody else's, um, you know, work or dream than you do your own, you know, thing that you have going on. They should have already had some type of, you know, side hustle going on. They should, if, if this was their main gig, they should have had a side podcast going on where they were just talking about sports or something like that. You know, that way Joe wouldn't get jealous. And you're like, hey, this is just a sports, you know, podcast. But that way, if they ever got fired, they would have something to fall back on. Then they could expand their, their podcast and expand their base and then just talking about whatever. You know, basically the same stuff that they was doing on um, on Joe's show. Evidently, it was a it's a hundred percent Joe's show because he just up and firing people. Now, let me get on Joe Budden. Joe Budden is obviously he obviously has a whole bunch of mental health issues going on. He obviously I don't know if he's still dealing with his drug addictions and stuff like that, but he's he has commitment issues. He's from what from the outside looking in, it seems like Joe Button double crosses everybody that gets close to him. He double crossed it to Harry. You know, she seemed like a down chick for him, and he messed her over. Uh, the the other young lady he was messing with, she seemed extremely nice. You know, like somebody he could settle down with and start a family with. I, I I'm not I can't think of her name off the top of my head, but you know, even to this day, I think I follow her Instagram. Um, she. Seems like a, she, a a cool a cool chick, cool lady. But also, when they first started the podcast, the uh, the the young lady that they had hosting the podcast with them, he kind of chewed her out because I think she used to work on Hot ninety seven. Joe Button just kind of like chewed her out and kind of like removed her from the show abruptly. You know, Joe thinks that everybody has to agree with him. He doesn't like it when people disagree with him. He, you know, he just like, oh, I like this, but but you don't like it. Oh, you whack. Your opinion doesn't matter. He'll he'll say little stuff like that to them. And just because you're some type of, you know, big, um, you thought, you know, once upon a time you were this big time rapper and you are the uh, main attraction of the show. That doesn't mean you should um, treat your, your co-host like that, because. What what would us like look think about the sitcoms we loved growing up. Like, what would uh, the Bernie Mac show be without those kids, you know? What would Family Matters be without, you know, uh, an Urkel? Urkel started off as a sidekick, and he ended up, you know, being the, the star of the show. And, you know, would Black Panther be the same movie without, um, you know, Michael B. Jordan, even though Chadwick Boseman was the star of the show? It takes more than one piece to... Um, you know, produce content. I don't think Joe Joe feels like, oh, I can just get anybody to come in and do this. And maybe that's true, but it's not going to be the same. Trust me. It's just not going to be the same. People are always thinking that the grass is green on the other side, and that's not the case. And I hope Joe goes out and uh, gets the professional help that he needs. And let this be a lesson to anybody that Joe is going to deal with in the future or who they're dealing with now. He will chew you up, spit you out, and he can care two shits about it. Thanks for checking out the podcast. Make sure you like and subscribe. Peace out.